It's finished. Nearly finished. It must be nearly finished. Grain upon grain, one by one. In one day, suddenly there's a heap. A little heap. The impossible heap. I can't be punished anymore. I'll go now to my kitchen, 10 feet by 10 feet by 10 feet, and wait for him to whistle me. Nice dimensions, nice proportions. I'll lean on a table and look at the wall and wait for him to whistle me. be misery loftier than mine, no doubt, formerly, but now, my father, my mother, my dog, <laughs> oh, I'm willing to believe they suffer as much as such creatures can suffer, but does that mean their sufferings equal mine? No doubt. No, all is absolute. The bigger a man he is, the fuller he is. And the emptier. <laughs> Clove? No, alone. What dreams, those forests. Enough. It's time it ended in the shelter, too. And yet I hesitate. I hesitate to end. Yes, there it is. It's time it ended, and yet I hesitate to, to end. Oh, God, I'm tired. I'd be better off in bed. <laughs> you pollute the air. <laughs> Get me ready. I'm going to bed. I just got you up. And what of it? Can't be getting you up and putting you to bed every five minutes. If things to do. Did you ever see my eyes? No. Oh. Did you never have the curiosity while I was sleeping to take off my glasses and look at my eyes? Pulling back the lids. No. <laughs> One of these days I'll show them to you. It seems they've gone all white. What time is it? Same as usual. Have you looked? Yes. Well? Zero. Did it need to rain? It won't rain. Apart from that, how do you feel? Complain. You feel normal? I tell you, I don't complain. I feel a little queer. Globe? Yes. Have you not had enough? Yes! <coughs> of what? Of this. <laughs> this thing. I've always had. Not you. And there's no reason for it to change. It may end. All life long, the same questions, the same answers. Get me ready. <coughs> Go and get the sheet. Close. Yes. I'll give you nothing more to eat. Then we'll die. 
I'll give you just enough to keep you from dying. You'll be hungry all the time. You won't die. I'll go get a sheep. No. I'll give you one biscuit per day. One and a half. Why do you stay with me? Why do you keep me? There's no one else. There's nowhere else. You're leaving me all the same. I'm trying. You don't love me. No. You loved me once. Once. I've made you suffer too much, haven't I? It's not that. I haven't made you suffer too much. Yes. Oh, you gave me a fright. <laughs> forgive me. I said forgive me. I heard you. Have you bled? Less. Is it time for my painkiller? No. How are your eyes? Bad. How are your legs? Bad. But you can move? Yes. Then move! Where are you? Here. Come back! <laughs> Where are you? Here. Why don't you kill me? I don't know the combination of the cover. Go and get two bicycle wheels. There are no more bicycle wheels. What have you done with your bicycle? I never had a bicycle. The thing is impossible. Well, there's still bicycles. I wept to have one. I crawled at your feet. You told me to go to hell. Now there are none. And your rounds when you inspected my pop was always on foot. Sometimes on horse. <laughs> I'll leave you. I have things to do. In your kitchen? Yes. Outside here it's death. All right, be off. Get it on. Me pop! A cursed progenitor! Me pop! The old folks at home, no decency left. Guzzle, guzzle, that's all they think of. <laughs> well, I thought you were leaving me. Oh, not just yet, not just yet. Me pop! There's pap. There's no more pap. Did you hear that? There's no more pap. You'll never get any more pap. I want me pap. Give him a biscuit. <laughs> a cursed fornicator. How are your stumps? Never mind me stumps. I'm back again with the biscuit. What is it? Sprat medium. Uh, it's hard. I can't bottle him. <laughs> if age but new. Sit on him. You can't sit. True. And I can't stand. So it is. Every man his speciality. <laughs> no phone calls. Don't we laugh? I don't feel like it. Nor I. Chloe? Yes? Nature has forgotten us. There's no more nature. No more nature. You exaggerate. In the vicinity. But we breathe. We change. We lose our hair, our teeth, our bloom, our ideals. She hasn't forgotten us. You say there is none. No one that ever lived ever thought so crooked as we. We do what we can. We shouldn't. You're a bit of all right, aren't you? Smithereen. This is slow work. Is it not time for my painkiller? No. I'll leave you. I have things to do. In your kitchen? Yes. What I'd like to know. I look at the wall. You look at the wall. <laughs> And what do you see on your wall? Many, many naked bodies? I see my light dying. Your light dying. Well, listen to that. Well, it can die just as well and hear your light. Go take a look at me and then come back and tell me what you think of your light. You shouldn't speak to me like that. Forgive me. I said forgive me. I heard you. Did your seeds come up? No. Did you scratch around them to see if they'd sprout? They haven't sprouted. Perhaps it's still too early. If they're going to sprout, they would have sprouted. They'll never sprout! Well, this isn't very much fun. <laughs> but it's always like that at the end of the day, isn't it, Clove? Always. And it's the end of the day just like any other day, isn't it, Clove? Looks like it. What's happening? What's happening? Something is taking its course. All right. Be off. I thought I told you to be off. I'm trying. Ever since I was well. We're getting off.
asleep. Oh, no. Kiss me. We can. Try. I lost me tooth. Mine. I had it yesterday. Oh. <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> Can you see me? Hardly. <laughs> and you? What? Can you see me? Hardly. Our sight has failed. Yes. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yes. And you? Yes. Our hearing hasn't failed. Oh, Our hearing. <laughs> When we crashed our tandem and lost our shanks? <laughs> Don't you go in? I don't know. Has he changed your sawdust? It isn't sawdust. Can you not be a little more accurate, Nag? Your sand, then? It's not important. It is important. It was sawdust once. Huh? Now it's sand. From the shore. Now it's sand he fetches from the shore. Now it's sand. Has he changed yours? No. Nor mine. I won't have it. Do you want a bit? No. A what? Biscuit. <laughs> I've kept you half. Three quarters for you. Here. No. Do you not feel well? Quiet, quiet. You're keeping me awake. Talk softer. If I could sleep, I might make love. I go into the woods, my eyes would see. The sky, the earth, I'd run, run. They wouldn't catch me. Nature! There's something dripping in my head, a heart in my head. Did you hear that? <laughs> a heart in his head? <laughs> <laughs>
not want your biscuit? I'll keep it for you. I thought you were going to leave me. I am going to leave you. Could you give me a scratch before you go? No. In the back? No. <laughs> <laughs> rub yourself against the rim. It's lower down, in the hollow. What hollow? The hollow. <laughs> Could you not? <coughs> Yesterday, you scratched me there. <gasps> Tell it again. <clears throat> An Englishman, needing a pair of striped trousers in a hurry for the New Year's festivities, goes to his tailor who takes his measurements. <laughs> That's the lot. Come back in four days. I'll have it ready. Good. Four days later. So sorry. Come back in a week. I've made a mess of the seat. <laughs> Good. That's all right. A neat seat can be very ticklish. One week later. <laughs> Dreadfully sorry. Come back in ten days. I've made a hash of the crotch. Good. Can't be helped. A snug crotch is always a teaser. <laughs> days later. Dreadfully sorry. Come back in a fortnight. I've made a balls of the fly. Good. <laughs> At a point, a smart fly is always a stiff proposition. <laughs> I never told it worse. <laughs> <laughs> I tell the story worse and worse every time. Well, to keep it short, the bluebells are blowing and he bollocks is the buttonholes. <laughs> God damn you to hell, sir! No, it's indecent. There are limits. In six days, do you hear me? In six days, God made the world. Yes, sir. No less, sir, the world. And you are incapable of making me a pair of bloody trousers in three months. But, sir, look at the world. <laughs> and look at my trousers. <laughs> <laughs> you could see down 
chuck it into the sea. So what? what? What's she blathering about? Desert. She has no pulse. What was she dribbling about? She told me to go away into the desert. Damn, busybody. Is that all? No. What else? She, I didn't understand. Have you bottled her? Yes. Have they both been bottled? Yes. Screw down the lids. Time enough. My anger subsides. I'd like to pee. I'll go get catheter. Time enough. Give me my painkiller. It's too soon. It's too soon on top of your tonic for the mat. In the morning, they brace you up, and in the evening, they calm you down again, unless it's the other way around. That old doctor, he's dead, naturally. He wasn't old. But he's dead. Naturally. <laughs> you ask me that. Take me for a turn. Right round the world. Not too fast. Hug the walls and then back to the center again. I was right in the center, wasn't I? Yes. We need a proper wheelchair, one with big wheels, bicycle wheels. Are you hugging? Yes. It's a lie. Why do you lie to me? Hair. Stop! <laughs> Old walls. Beyond is the other hell. Closer, closer, up again. Take away your hand. There. <laughs> Is that my place? Yes, that's your place. Am I right in the center? I'll measure it. More or less, more or less. <laughs> there. I'm more or less in the center. I can say so. You say so. Put me right in the center. I'll measure it. Roughly, roughly. <laughs> Back in the center. There. <laughs> I feel a little too far to the left. I feel a little too far forward. Now I feel a little too far back. <laughs> Don't stay there, you give me the shivers. I can kill him, I die happy. What's the weather like? As usual. Look at the earth. I've looked. With the glass? No need of the glass. Look at it with the glass. <laughs> with the glass! No need of the glass. <laughs> I got again with the glass. I need the steps. Why? Have you shrunk? I don't like that. I don't like that. Dude. 
what? All is what? What all is in the word? Is that what you want to know? <laughs> Just a moment. <coughs> Corals. Well, content. Look at the sea. It's the same. Look at the ocean. something to eat, but you won't get up. Then you'll say, oh, I shouldn't have sat down, but since I have, I'll sit on a little longer, and then I'll get up and get something to eat. But you won't get up, and you won't get anything to eat. 
you'll look at the wall, then you'll say, I'll close my eyes, perhaps a little sleep. After that, I'll feel better. And you'll close them. And when you open them again, there won't be any wall anymore. Infinite emptiness will be all around you. All the resurrected dead of all the ages couldn't fill it. And there you'd be like a little bit of grit in the middle of the step. Yes, one day you'll know what it is. You'll be like me, except that you won't have anyone with you because you won't have had pity on anyone and because there won't be anyone left to have pity on. It's not certain. And there's one thing you forget. Huh? I can't sit down. Well, you lie down then. What the hell? Or you'll come to a standstill. Simply stop and stand still the way you are now. One day you'll say, I'm tired, I'll stop. What does the attitude matter? So you all want me to leave you? Naturally. Then I'll leave you. You can't <coughs> leave us. Then I won't leave you. Why don't you finish us? I'll give you the combination to the cupboard if you promise you'll finish me. I couldn't finish you. Well, then you won't finish me. I'll leave you. Do you remember when you came here? No, too small, you told me. You remember your father? Hey, my aunt, sir. You've asked me these questions millions of times. I love the old questions. Uh, the old questions, the old answers. There's nothing like them. It was I was a father to you. I don't 
don't need anything anymore. Teach me new ones, or let me be silent. <laughs> I know a madman once who thought the end of the world had come. He was a painter <coughs> and engraver. I had a great fondness for him. I used to go and visit him in the asylum. I'd take him by the arm and drag him to the window. Look there, all that rising corn. And there, look, the sails of the herring fleet. All that loveliness. He'd snatch away his arm and run back into his corner. Appalled, all he had seen was ashes. He alone had been spared. Forgotten. <coughs> it appears the case is, was, not so, so unusual. What's that? Oh, way back, way back. You wanted the man of the living. God be with the days. I had a great fondness for him. He was a painter and engraver. <laughs> There's so many terrible things. No, no, there are not so many now. Crow. Yes. Do you not think this has gone on long enough? Yes! <laughs> what? This! <laughs> this thing! Always thought so. You not? And it's a day like any other day. As long as it lasts. Oh, long same inanities. I can't leave you. I know. And you can't follow me. If you were to leave me, how would I know? Well, you just simply whistle me and I might not come running. It means I've left you. You wouldn't come and kiss me goodbye. You might be merely dead in your kitchen. The result will be the same. But how would I know if you were merely dead in your kitchen? Well, sooner or later I'd start to stink. You stink already. The whole place stinks of corpses. The whole universe? To hell with the universe. Think of something. What? An idea. Have an idea. A bright idea. Ah, good. The pains in my legs. It's unbelievable. Soon I won't be able to think anymore. You won't be able to leave. to listen to my story. Why did 
did you engender me? I didn't know. What? What didn't you know? That it'd be you. <laughs> You'll give me a sugar plum? After the audition. You swear? Yes. On what? My honor. <laughs> <laughs> It's finished. We're finished. Nearly finished. There'll be no more speech. Something dripping in my head ever since the fontanelles. Splash, splash, always on the same spot. Perhaps it's a little vein. A little artery. Enough of that. It's story time. Where was I? The man came crawling in on his belly, pale, wondrously pale and thin. He seemed on the point of... No, I've done that bit. <laughs> I calmly filled my pipe, the meerschaum, lit it with, let us say, a vesta, drew a few puffs. Oh. Well, what is it you want? It was an extraordinarily bitter day. I remember zero by the thermometer. But considering it was Christmas Eve, there was nothing extraordinary about that. Seasonable weather for once in a way. Well, what ill wind blows you my way? He lifted his face to me, black with mingled dirt and tears. That's good. No, don't look at me, don't look at me. He dropped his face and mumbled something, apologies, I presume. I'm a busy man, you know, the final touches before the festivities, you know what it is. Come on now, what is the art of this invasion? <laughs> it was a glorious bright day, I remember, 50 by the heliometer, but already the sun was sinking down into the, down among the dead. Nicely put that. Come on, man, present your petition so that I may resume my labors. Oh, well, there's English for you. Oh, well. It was then he took the plunge. It's my little one, he said. A little one, that's bad. It's my little boy, he added, as if the sex mattered. Where did he come from? He named the whole a good half day on horse. What are you insinuating, that the place is still inhabited? No, not a soul except for himself and the little one. Good. I inquired about the situation at Cove, beyond the Gulf. Not a center. Good. And you expect me to believe you've left your little one there all alone and alive into the bargain? Come now. It was a howling, wild day, I remember. 100 by the anemometer. The wind was tearing up the dead pines and sweeping them away. A bit feeble. Come on, man, what is it? I have to put up my holly. Well, it finally transpired that what he wanted was bread for his brat. Bread? Well, I don't have any bread. It doesn't agree with me. Good. Perhaps a little corn, then. That should do it. Corn, yes, it's true. I have corn in my granaries. But use your hand. I give you some corn, a pound, a pound and a half. You take it back to your little boy, assuming he exists, and you make him a nice pot of porridge. A nice pot and a half of porridge full of nourishment. The color comes back into his little cheeks, perhaps. And then I lost patience. Use your head, can't you? Use your head. You're on earth. There's no cure for that. It was an exceedingly dry day, I remember. Zero by the hygrometer. Ideal weather for my lumbago. <laughs> <laughs> what do you imagine? That the earth will awake in spring, that the rivers and seas will run with fish again, that there's man in heaven left for imbeciles like you? Gradually I calmed down, sufficiently at least to ask how long he had taken on his way. Three whole days. Good. In what condition had he left the little boy? Deep in sleep. But deep in what sleep? Deep in what sleep already? Well, 
To make it short, I finally offered to take him into my service. He had touched a chord, and then already I imagined I wasn't much longer for this world. <laughs> well, well, here, if you're careful, you might manage to die a nice natural death in peace and comfort. Well, in the end, he asked if I would consent to take in the child as well, if he were still alive. It was the moment I was waiting for. Would I consent to take in the little boy? I can see him now, down on his knees, hands flat on the ground, glaring at me with his mad eyes in defiance of my wishes. I'll soon have finished with this story, unless I bring in other characters. <laughs> But where would I find them? Where would I look for them? <laughs> Let us pray to God. Be sure the plow! Back in the kitchen! A rat? Well, that's still rat. In the kitchen, there's life. And you haven't exterminated him? Pat, you disturbed us. He can't get away? No. You'll finish him later then. Let us pray to God. Again! Be sure the plow! God first! Are you right? Off we go. And you? <laughs> Our father went on. Silence! In silence, where are your manners? <laughs> Off we go. someone else, but that's no excuse. <coughs> Turkish delight, for example, which no longer exists, we all know that. There is nothing in the world I love more. And one day I'll ask for some in return for a kindness, and you'll promise it to me. One must live with the time. Whom did you call when you were a tiny boy and were frightened in the dark? Your mother? No. <coughs> Me. We let you cry. Then we moved you out of earshot so that we might sleep in peace. <laughs> I was asleep, as happy as a king, and you woke me up to have me listen to you. It wasn't indispensable. You didn't really need to have me listen to you. Besides, I didn't listen to you. I hope the day comes when you'll really need to have me listen to you and need to hear my voice, any voice. Yes, I hope I'll live till then to hear you calling me. Like when you were a tiny boy and were frightened in the dark and I was your only hope.
those now are ended. The dog's gone. He's not a real dog. He can't go. He's not there. He's laying down. Give him up to me. Dirty brute. <laughs> down to the sea, I'd make a pillow of sand for my head and the tide would come. There's no more tide. Go and see if she did. Looks like it. What's he doing? He's crying. Then he's living. <laughs> Did you ever have an instant of happiness? Not to my knowledge. Bring me under the window. I want to feel the light on my face. <laughs> Do you remember in the beginning when you used to take me for a turn? You used to hold the chair too high. At every step you nearly tipped me over. Great fun we had, the two of us. Great fun. And then we got in the way of it. They're already. Is it light? It is dark. I'm asking you, is it light? Yes! Is the curtain closed? No. Which side are we? The earth. I knew it! But there's no light there, the other! The earth. <laughs> uh, now that's what I call light. Feels like a ray of sunshine. <laughs> no? No. It's not a ray of sunshine I feel on my face. 
very white? <laughs> I'm asking you, am I very white? <laughs> 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 you having much conversation all of a sudden. Do you not feel well? I'm cold. What month are we? That's enough. Back. <laughs> Don't stay there. You give me the shivers. By little you begin to grieve. All those I might have helped, helped, saved, saved. <coughs> the place was crawling with them. Use your head, can't you? Use your head. You're on earth. There's no cure for that. Get out of here and love one another. Lick your neighbor as yourself. <laughs> It wasn't bread they wanted, it was crumpets. Out of my sight and back to your pen and parties. All that, all that. Not even a real dog. The end is in the beginning, and yet you go on. Perhaps I'll go on with my story, end it, and begin another. Perhaps I'll throw myself out on the floor. Uh, dig my nails into the cracks and drag myself forward with my fingers. It'll be the end and there I'll be wondering what kind of brought it on and wondering what kind of, why it was so long coming. There I'll be in the old shelter alone against the silence and the stillness. If I can hold my peace and sit quiet, it'll be all over with sound and emotion, all over and done with. I'll have called my father and I'll have called my son, even twice or three times in case he hadn't heard me the first time or the second. I'll say to myself, oh, he'll come back. And then he couldn't. He's gone too far. And then all kinds of fantasies that are being watched are rat steps, rep hell, and then babble, babble. 
Words like the words of the solitary child that turns himself into children, two, three, so as to be together, to whisper together in the dark. Moment upon moment, pattering down like the millet grains of that old Greek. And all your life, you wait for that to mount up to a life. <sighs> Let's get it over. <laughs> What? Neither gone nor dead. In spirit only. Which? Both. Gone for me, you'd be dead. And vice versa. Outside here, it's death. In the rack. He got away. He can't go far. You don't need to go far. <laughs> Is it not time for my painkiller? Yes. Oh, at last! Give it to me, quick! There's no more pain. It was full. Yes, but now it's empty. What did I do? What did I do? <coughs> what are you doing? Winding up. Look at the earth. Again? Since it's calling you. Is your throat sore? Would you like a lozenge? <laughs> no? Pity. Da, da, da. Wasn't right to sing anymore? No. Then happy to end. You want it to end? I want to sing. I can't prevent you. What do I do with that steps? You haven't seen that steps. Ah! About time. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if I'm in my right mind that it passes on and I'm as lucid as before. <laughs> Christ, she's underwater. Coffins. Then let it end with a bang of darkness. 
Not an underfly, I trust. What's a small boy? A small boy. I'll go and see. I'm taking the gaff! No! No! A potential procreator? If he exists, he'll die there or he'll come here. And if he doesn't you exist... You don't believe me? You think I'm inventing? It's the end, Chloe. We've come to the end. I don't need you. Say something. There's nothing to say. A few words to ponder in my heart. Your heart? Yes. Yes. With the rest in the end, the shadows, the murmurs, all the trouble that's left to end up with. Chloe, he never spoke to me. Then, in the end, before he went, Without my having asked him, he spoke to me. He said, <sighs> something from your heart. My heart. Few words from your heart. They said to me, that's love. Yes, yes, not a doubt. Now you see Articulate. how- Articulate. How easy it is. They said to me, that's friendship. Yes, yes, no question, you found it. They said to me, here's the place, stop, raise your head, and look at all that beauty, that order. They said to me, come now, you're not a brute beast. Think upon these things, and you'll see how all becomes clear and simple. They said to me, what skilled attention they get, all these dying of their wounds. I say to myself sometimes, Quo, you must learn to suffer better than that if you want them to weary of punishing you one day. I say to myself sometimes, Quo, you must be there better than that if you want them to let you go one day. But I feel too old and too far to form new habits. I'm good. It'll never end. I'll never go. And suddenly it ends, it changes, I don't understand, it dies, or it's me, I don't understand that either. I ask the words that remain, sleeping, waking, morning, evening, they have nothing to say. I open the door of my cell and go, I am so bowed. my leg, a little trail of black dust. I say to myself, the earth is extinguished, though I never saw it lit. The TV is going. When I fall, I'll leap for happiness. Go. I'm obliged to you, Chloe, for your services. Ah, pardon. It's I am obliged to you. It's we who are obliged to each other. One thing more, a last favor. Cover me with the sheet. of old, play and lose, and have done with losing. Let me see. 
Oh, yes. Put on again. We're coming. A few more squirms like that now call. A little poetry. You prayed. You cried for night. It comes. It falls. Now cry in darkness. You cried for night. It falls. Now cry in darkness. Nicely put, that. And now, moments for nothing. Now, as always, time is over and time was never. Reckoning closed and story ended. If I would consent to take in the little boy, it was the moment I was waiting for. You don't want to abandon him. You want him to bloom while you're withering. Be there to solace your last million last moments. But he doesn't realize. All he knows is hunger and cold and death to crown it all. But you should know what the earth is like nowadays. Oh, I put him before his responsibilities. Well, there we are. There I am. That's enough. Yes, truly. Since that's the way we're playing it, let's play it that way and speak no more about it. Speak no more. Old Staunter, you remain. <laughs> 